Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss about the DW sim. We will discuss the uh, pump, the compressor, the uh, heater, and cooler. So, uh, we will determine the uh, pump, the work done, uh, the pump work, the uh, work done by the um, turbine, and the uh, uh, heat entering to the heater and the uh, cooler duty, the heater and cooler duty. So, first of all, open the DWSM and uh, create a new, click on create new, click on this one. So, now we so this, this, this introduction, simulation, configuration, uh, wizard, this window will open. Now, click on next to continue. So, click on next and here add the component, add the compound. So, here are various compound. You can select various compound. So I am selecting the. You can search in the search bar. So I am searching water. There is one one component which is water. So this is one component which is water. You can uh, add another component also, but I am using water. So this is water. It is added. You can remove it also. So uh, click on next. Now this is the uh, property package. So you can select the property package is the most popular and you can select all equation of state like equation of state so these are the various uh, so I am using the steam table and then uh, click on add so click on next here this is the system of unit so this is the system international by default, you can uh, System International Engineering and CGS and English units C1, C5. So I am selecting C5. So here the temperature is in uh, degree centigrade, the flow rate is in kilogram per hour. So you can change the according to your need. Now click on next and click on finish. So this is the object pellet window will open. This is this is material stream, this is energy stream. So I will select on stream for the uh, uh, first of all I will uh, 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 select the pump so this is the inlet to the pump and select the outlet from the pump pump inlet and pump outlet and this is the energy stream which is for the pump work so click on this one input so this is the input I will zoom in this one and this. So here you can this is the input. One is for the object name, the general material stream. So the information, the general information object. So this is the material stream number one, which is input to the pump. A pump in this. Pump inlet. Pump inlet. This is the pump outlet. Pump outlet. Pump outlet. Pump out. And this is the energy. Pump work. Pump work. Now we will select the pump. So click on this double arrow to the left side. The right side, so this one, click on this one. So you go to the pressure changer. Here you will see the pump. So drag and drop, select, drag and drop it. So close this one. Now this is pump. Now this is increase for the pump energy. So I will close or uh, disconnect this one. Delete this one. Click on yes. And this is the inlet, and this is the pump. So the inlet. So first of all, I will delete the pump because I have not specified the speed stream fully. So this is speed click on inlet and the temperature. Suppose the water, the water is at 25 degree centigrade and one bar pressure. Entering to a pump, one bar pressure it is entering to pump. The mass flow rate of water is suppose it is 100, 1000 kilogram per hour. 1000 kilogram per or and the compound amount so it, it can be in mole fraction or mass fraction 
So it is in one section, it is power water, it is one. We can accept changes. Now we can pump outlet. This is pump outlet. The pump outlet temperature is same is the pump inlet temperature. The pump outlet pressure is changes. So it is 5 bar. The mass flow rate of water is 1000 kg per hour. It is okay. Compound mole fraction is 1. Okay. Now select pump. Click on this double arrow and select pump. Drag, uh, select, drag and drop. Close this one. Yes. Now double click on the pump. And here the pressure increase. Outlet pressure. So it can be uh, pump outlet pressure. Click on pump outlet pressure. So out, outlet pressure is 5 bar. Suppose and pump efficiency is 75. It is okay. Click on this one. So it is calculated now. It is the pump work is calculated now. Double click on the pump. And here the power required is 0 0.14 kilowatt. So 0 0.15, 0 0.15 kilowatt of work is required by the pump. So this is the pump work. Now this is the pump work. Now we will select a heat heater. So click on this material stream and let to the heater. Outlet of the heater. And this is the click on this one, double click on this one. This is the heater inlet. Heater inlet. The heater inlet. So water is entering to the heater. It suppose it is entering at 25 degrees centigrade uh, uh, and 5 bar pressure. Suppose 5 bar pressure in the mass flow rate of water is suppose 1000 kilogram per hour. Okay. Now the outlet. This is the heater outlet. Outlet. Now the outlet temperature of the heater is suppose the water which is coming out from the heater is suppose it is at 150 degrees centigrade and 5 bar pressure. And the mass flow rate of water is 1000 kg per hour. Now select the heater. So here this is the heater exchanger. Click on exchanger and select the heater. This is heater. So drag and drop this one and close this one. So this is the heater. This is the energy stream E3. So E3 is energy heater energy or QN. QN is for the heat entry to the heater. Click on this one. Now click on heater. So it is the inlet stream to the heater is HN and outlet of the heater is H out this one and the energy is given now this, uh, this is the heat added or heat removal so I'll uh, the, the temperature change or you can uh, click on outlet temperature so the outlet temperature of, uh, of the heater is suppose it is 150 150 degree centigrade and the efficiency of heater is suppose it is 90 percent so this is Outlet temperature is 150. So this is the heater energy, the heat entry. So this amount of uh, heat will be required to heat water from 25 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade at 5 bar pressure. So this amount of heat will be required by the heater. So now we will go to the uh, turbine. We will select the turbine. So double click on this arrow and select the stream, material stream, this is the turbine inlet, the turbine outlet, this is the turbine outlet, so uh, this one, this one, so stream number 5 is the turbine inlet, turbine inlet, C in turbine inlet and C out is for the turbine outlet, turbine outlet. Now the, the temperature, the water which is entering to the turbine is at, suppose it is at 150 degrees centigrade and 
five bar pressure. Five bar pressure in the mass flow rate is suppose one thousand kilogram per hour, and the turbine outlet. So the turbine outlet temperature is suppose five degrees to one uh, one forty degrees centigrade, and the pressure is suppose is at one one bar pressure. Turbine outlet pressure is one bar pressure, and the mass flow rate of the water is. 1000 kilogram per hour now uh, go to the uh, uh, pressure changer you will see the turbine so drag and drop the turbine this is the turbine close this one this is the energy stream e3 this is for the turbine energy so this is the turbine work work done by the turbine so you see the work done by the turbine now click on the turbine and here the turbine in the turbine out there in the other turbine the object is the turbine the turbine okay now this is the outlet is it is a radiatic turbine you can select the flow polytropic turbine at the outlet pressure so the turbine outlet pressure is the turbine outlet pressure is uh the angle to the turbine is uh, five bar and turbine outlet pressure is one bar so you can see the pressure uh, the, the pressure decreased select on the pressure decrease so the pressure decrease is uh, four minus uh, 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 this is five minus one four or you can uh, outlet you select the outlet pressure so the outlet pressure is one bar turbine outlet pressure is one Bar efficiency of the turbine is the average efficiency of the turbine is only five bar decal, but I can be made to show you. So here, this amount of work is done by the turbine. Two point six eight kilowatt of work is done by the turbine. Now, and this is the uh, adiabatic head of the turbine is forty three meter polytropic head. The rotation speed of the turbine is fifteen hundred revolution per minute. The adiabatic efficiency is seventy. The pressure drop is four bar. So This is about all about the turbine. Now we will go to the uh, uh, cooler. So here, select the material stream, click on material, enter to the cooler, outlet from the cooler, cooler enter, click on stream number seven, cooler enter, again, and see out is for the cooler outlet. Cooler outlet, see and the cooler enter suppose. Uh, it is that the water is entering to the cooler. It is uh, suppose it's one or uh, four feet degrees centigrade, and it is uh, the cooler outlet pressure is suppose one bar, and the mass flow rate is one thousand kilogram per hour. Now the cooler outlet, click on this one, and the cooler outlet temperature is uh, same. The cooler outlet temperature is suppose it is decreased to 25 degrees centigrade. 25 degrees centigrade, and the pressure is one bar pressure. One bar. Temperature is decreased in the cooler. Heat is removed in the cooler. So the the mass flow rate of water is suppose it is one thousand kilogram per hour. It is okay. Now go to the cooler. Here, so this one. Go to the heat exchanger. The heater. This is the cooler. Drag and drop the cooler. So this is the cooler energy E4. Click on this one. So this is the cooler energy QC. It is removed in the cooler QC. Or you can put cooler energy. So the heat removed in the cooler. Now double click on the cooler. Here the heat added or heat removed are the outlet temperature. So the outlet the temperature change or outlet temperature in the cooler. So the outlet temperature of cooler is uh, outlet temperature is 25 degrees centigrade, and suppose the efficiency of the cooler is 90. 90. So this amount of energy is released in the cooler. This amount of energy is released in the cooler. 818.5 kilowatt energy is removed in the uh, cooler. The outlet temperature is 25, and the heat removed remote is 800. And 18.44 kilowatt. 
So this is the pressure drop is zero and efficiency is 90 percent. So this is all about the uh, uh, cooler, the uh, turbine, and the uh, heater, as well as the pump. Thank you very much for your attention. In the coming lecture, we will also discuss about the flash uh, uh, distillation. Uh, we will also discuss about the shortcut distillation and detailed distillation. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe.